While we are gathering virtually today, I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge the importance of the land that we each call home. We do this to reaffirm our commitment to and responsibility for improving the relationships between nations and our understanding of local indigenous peoples and their cultures. We broadcast from Toronto, the traditional territory of the Mississaugas of the New Credit, the Anishinaabe, the Chippewa, the Haudenosaunee, and the Wendat peoples. Today, it is home to many diverse First Nations, Inuit, and Métis peoples. Please join us in a moment of reflection to consider how we can, each in our own way, move forward in the spirit of reconciliation and collaboration. I encourage you to seek out and embrace the works of Indigenous creators, artists, and academics. Uh, whoa, 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 Guan, everyone. You're watching episode four of the RBC Emerging Artists Academy. I'm your boy, Ian Kedeku. In today's show, artists and industry professionals explore how to balance both being an artist and an entrepreneur. They'll share some fundamental business skills and provide tips to help you make that moolah from your art. We'll also profile three truly exceptional Canadian artists. First, we'll hear from documentary producers Kyle McCutcheon and Chris Chorus. Then, the National Ballet of Canada first soloist, Tina Pereira. Make sure you stick around. It's going to be a good one. 